Hello YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Today we're going to look at total uh, 360 Total Security, which uses five different antivirus engines. And what we're going to do is we're going to install it inside of Windows 7 uh, virtual machine here I got in Hyper-V, and then we're going to try to infect the crap out of it. Um, we're going to download all sorts of spyware and malware and see what happens to our VM. So let's take a look at 360 Total Security. All right, so here we are back. Um, so here's my computer. Um, and I've got this virtual machine here ready in Hyper-V. Uh, we've just given it four of the, the eight threads of my CPU. It's got two gigs and it's ready to go. I have installed very minimal updates. However, this ISO did come with Service Pack 1. Now, <clears throat> actually, I'm not going to use the connect way because we won't get a full, full screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Microsoft Windows Service Connection. We're going to go remote into this test PC. Now, the username is test. It's going to remote right into it. Of course, we don't have an RDP certificate. Why would we? And we're going to go over and start installing. So this is 360 Total Security. Now, this product is from China. Um, and it's supposed to give you a more, where are we going to save? A more uh, Total Security. <laughs> so let's see what this is like. This is going to take a little bit to download. As you can see, this is just Windows 7. There's no antivirus currently installed. Two gigs of RAM. We're going to run the security now. So it comes up now. Kui Hu used to be the name of the software, or however you say that. Maybe somebody who's Chinese can correct me. We accept the license, and we don't want to join the program. So it's going to go through. Quick install. So it has a lot of different things besides just antivirus. It also allows you to clean up your PC. Um, but we'll get into that in a minute here. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the virus scanner. Now the virus scanner uses five different engines. It uses uh, its cloud engine. It's a system repair engine, which is kind of like, I believe, heuristics. Um, it also provides a Bitdefender and Avira antivirus. So you can see there's a Bitdefender engine and the uh, Avira antivirus engine. Now, uh, Avira and Bitdefender are both very sensitive antivirus engines. So if you don't want something that's getting false positive all the time, that's something you might want to think about. So we're going to turn on all the engines, and it might take a minute or two to kind of see it's installing. So it actually has to install them, let's see here. So it's going to install those two, and it's going to update and patch them. Now, uh, when we start doing that, Bitdefender is now 100% <clears throat> up to date. So the first thing we're going to do is go look for some malware. Now, of course, we're in the best browser to get malware. Let's go look at speed up my PC. Safe PC repair. That just sounds like malware. Free download. This is going to be fun. Oh, and it even tells you it comes with the Ask toolbar. Actually, it's their own toolbar with an Ask search in it. It's not letting me download this. I don't believe it. And again, guys, I do have antivirus at my router. Maybe we should turn that off <laughs> because that's really going to mess with what I'm trying to do here.
So I have actually I forgot about that antivirus running at my router level. We're going to download this. And they claim to be a Microsoft partner. You see that? It's hilarious. Well, let's go look at. Um, okay, so we're going to run this. Let's see if it gets caught. And again, they remind you that they're a gold, or they're a Microsoft partner. I actually work at a Microsoft gold partner, so. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, it let us completely install that. Now this is really more of a this is really more of a of a puff potentially a logic program. We just got a bit defender engine update. Let's download this. Is there a free product here? Let's get this free scan. Oh, it wants you to pay for it. It's actually kind of hard to infect this thing. It's got a kick ass torrent. Oh, it wants to install Flash Player. That's got to be malicious. I don't think it's the real Adobe Flash Player. Maybe it wants that to. Now we're going to go to Kickass Torrents because even though that's a good site for torrents, um, they have lots of buttons on there that have always kind of been questioning. Like this thing. What the hell happens when I click on this? This isn't the actual download button for the torrent. See? It's like, do this. It's like, yeah. Now, a lot of these ads, like I said, are getting blocked because I have like a Skookum router um, that blocks ads, blocks. It's a UTM router that I make myself. Oh, so that's a great idea. Let's get downloading this. No oh, thanks, I want the free product. Run. I'm so surprised this all this is getting past this antivirus. Why not? Why not upgrade? Uh, download file. Okay. Whoa. Uh, they say they're authorized partner with AVG. Reimage PC repair tool. Wow. This isn't looking too good for 360 total security. Where else I could download some malware? Did something just audibly set on my speakers? Scan is completed. Guess what? Don't go. Use people free today. Visit us at speedupfree.com. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got another run box. Run this. Why not? Oh, it finally found something. Total security deleted infected file. Okay, let's confirm that. But I want to run this too. <clears throat> I should do a follow-up video to do this with my choice of security just to show you how much better it is. Um, 
Yeah, so here's my thought on this antivirus. It hasn't found any of the stuff that we just installed. Uh, it's found one out of, like, I've at least installed five or six or maybe seven. I haven't been keeping track how many different run boxes have come at me because what a lot of this pups and pums will do, pups are potentially unwanted programs, pums are potentially unwanted modifications. They'll come in and try to download their friends. Uh, so what they're doing here is they're telling me, download this, download this, and it's downloading more malware, more malware, more malware, and more potentially wanted programs, which is still a type of malicious software. So this is not getting found. It's redirecting me. Um, wow. Let's go speed up now. This is getting pretty awesome. Let's go look for penis pills. I spell penis wrong. Let's go look at Ron Jeremy Sex Pill Guru dot com. Sex Pill Guru dot com. Hi, I'm Ron Jeremy. And I'm here to tell you all about male custom pills. <laughs> and how to make yourself bigger. That's right. Okay guys, my last video cut out because I don't know, maybe it's possible my computer could have gotten infected from this. Uh, very unlikely, but they do jump from computer to computer, and I didn't segregate these into a different subnet like an idiot. So I get what I get, but I do have a pretty locked down system. So anyway, here's my system here on the left. I thought I would give it a reboot uh, just to see what would happen. So I'm going to click OK. This thing's going to go down for a reboot. I just want to see what happens on a reboot because that's always a little bit more exciting. Now, during the reboot process, we won't be able to watch it unless we go over to the Hyper-V console here and watch it. This is as full screen as we're going to get. It rebooted pretty quick because it is running on a Core i7. So after a reboot, this is still up. That's definitely malicious. So it hasn't disabled total security yet. But that doesn't really mean much. So apparently there's 839 issues that it's found, even though it's a clean install. So that's definitely snake oil. Let's, uh, oh, I think maybe total security ha has been stopped. Because even though it was running there, that was just the protection part. Let us scan. Let's do a quick scan here and just see what we find. So, first of all, here's my thought on this antivirus. It didn't stop anything, even though it had all these engines that by themselves would have done great against this malware. Avira and Bitdefender both would have probably caught all those. They're some of the best antiviruses out there. Antivirus out there. Um, and the other big thing why I don't like this antivirus is it's made by China. Now, China makes great products. They're a great company, etc. I'm not, you know, saying anything bad about them. But I don't trust any of their software just because of some of the historical uh, things that have come out about Chinese software. That's not to say the NSA with their American software is any better. But still, I don't, I don't really trust that kind of stuff for my security. Um, and, yeah, it hasn't really done a good job. So I would highly not recommend this, and it's not in any kind of Gardner reports or any kind of uh, virus lists. Um, so it said this file is unknown, and we can upload it for analysis, which is kind of nice. Uh, other things in here, there is something that will speed up your computer. Um, it's going to basically just go through your, your startup items and, you know, basically just do what you could do yourself with MS config. So not really something I'd be interested in. Now this is kind of neat. It's kind of like a C cleaner. You can kind of go in here and clean up junk files. And they also come with it what's called a toolbox. So you can have something that's going to patch up problems. You have another thing that's going to put things in a sandbox to run them. Um, system backup cleaner. There's a file shredder. There's a couple different things. But this antivirus has not done a good job at all. So uh, that's pretty much my review on it. It's probably one of the worst antiviruses I've seen. Um, this box is completely infected. Um, you know, it didn't catch any of that kind of stuff. This is a, a tool I use 
Uh, they they give out malware test files. I use it a lot to test my to test my firewalls and stuff like that. Now my router is going to block these if I try to download them. But if I download them into zip, it'll probably get right past my router. No, IP Fire still blocks it. Um, let's see if it'll glitch this one. Okay, let's download it through SSL. I won't be able to um, decrypt that, so it'll let me download that. Uh, we'll go into downloads. Windows Defender got it. Uh, we're going to say allow. Because I want to see if 360 will pick it up. So Windows Defender right off the bat caught it before it did. Um... So it did catch it, but this is a very well widely known virus, so still not very impressed. But yeah, it did quarantine it. So that's pretty much it. I don't like this software. I'm going to do a follow up video guys to kind of show you guys what my chosen uh, software um, like Malwarebyte Pro, like AVG uh, free and um, and Emet. 5.2, which is not an antivirus, it's actually a uh, mitigation technology, what that can do uh, to stop this kind of stuff. So that's my review. Let me know what you guys think. Please rate and subscribe, and thank you for watching.